M0 FXB. Thought I'd just show you my RSBA1 version 2 software working on the ICOM 7300. So we'll just uh, turn it up a bit. Now you know we've we've um, we've got the radio underneath the actual remote control page, which looks like a radio. So you can see this live, and then if you look to the right hand side, you can see the scope. So we're going to control this using my computer. We're not touching the radio. So let's uh, let's tune over. So we'll select. We're on 40 meters. We'll select 143 here, and then we'll click our mouse on the VFO, and we'll just hold our finger down on the right hand side of the mouse, and we'll tune across. Now to fine tune, we just select 70. Right, and we can turn it up just using the AF here. Click on the AF and scroll. Now we can select NR, noise reduction. That's off. That's on. Now, if you look at the scope on the right, you can see some quite strong signals there. See my mouse. So let's click on the really strong one, see what happens. Now we've double clicked it. Uh, it's out of band, that's why. So let's click here. No, out of band. So let's just scroll. Just by holding down the mouse. Now on the radio, I'm going to select scroll mode by holding down the center fix and then we're in we're in scroll mode now i'm doing that on the actual radio let's just double click here We've got the RF gain as well. Now the audio is coming out of the radio. You can select it to come out of the PC, but at the moment it's coming out of the radio. And we're just connected using a USB cable. I'll just show you my settings. If I disconnect. You can see my settings here, it just says USB, actually we have to just, we can actually turn off the radio, we just click OK, yeah it saves the memory, right, we've actually turned off the radio, and there, as you can see the radio went off, connection set, now we can change things if we want, but look we're on USB remote, we're using COM port 3 now, on my device manager, if I right click, and click device manager which you can't see um, double click ports and it's there silicon labs cp210 times usb to uart bridge com3 that's how we got our com which we did load the driver first and the civ address is 94 let's just see if i can bring in those connection settings Add 
Uh, let's have a look here. Window capture. See if it will bring them in. Yeah, it has brought them in. That's good. So we'll bring that in. Um, just put it here for now. I know that the scopes vanished because we they turned the radio off. So there's my connection settings there. Com three. Board rate is one one five two hundred ninety four. So that's com settings. If we turn the radio back on. Let's just click out of this. Click OK here. We have to do that on screen. Turn the radio back on. Let's just see what you can see. So yeah, you can see the connection settings. So I'll reduce. And then you can see the scope. You can see the radio comes to life. Let's turn it up now. You can see it's great fun. You can change the bands. Not sure how good 80 meters will be. Normally, with my home antenna, my G5 RV, it's not great. I need to use an antenna outside for that. 20. So what I'll try and do, I'll try and disconnect. I'll only try it. Disconnect um, RSBA1. I'll try and fire up WFU. That's a new one, the, f the free one that's out. So I'll pause this video and then we'll give that a go. Right, we've got WFU on screen. Free download, I'll put a link in. We haven't turned anything on yet, so the first thing I'm going to do, I haven't done this for a, a few weeks, I'll turn back on the radio, but I'll turn it down. Now we're still connected via USB. Sorry about my hand getting in the way. So, let's go to settings. So I'll come out of this screen a minute. We'll go to settings, and we're going to try and connect over a USB serial device. Now we know that the COM port is 3, so we have a little play. I'll just pause while I work out how to connect and then I'll let you know how. Okay, so we've got connect USB serial and it says here auto. We'll change that to 3, like so. Then we'll go to view, nothing's happening yet. <laughs> Now uh, we might have to sort of stop and start it again. Um, yeah, like you can see, I've actually forgotten how to do this. So, well, it still says 94, which is what we want. Uh, it, we don't want to connect over LAN. We want to connect direct. So, really should connect really so I might have to I'm going to try exiting it band frequency I'll try exiting it and then I'll try reconnecting okay we, we had some success there so what I did I did I went to settings <clears throat> and I clicked exit program here and then I just rebooted and it connected so if you look here we got COM3 selected, board rate 115200, so that's in the radio, manual CRV address, which is 94, and now audio input at the moment, we've got the display selected for my TV. Now, it doesn't have to be. We've got all these choices, especially if we use FTA. Our microphone at the moment is just selecting my my um, webcam microphone, but I could change it to my 
HN2 that I'm talking into now, so we'll save that setting. Um, audio. So, well, at the moment I can hear it coming out of the radio. So let's just try, let's just go to the display. So that's what you get to see. I'll just see what you can see. So, yeah, you can see. Um, and if you look at the radio, the frequencies are matched. Uh, let's see if I can get a better view for you. I don't think you can see the whole panel. All right, let's just... Right, we'll get the whole panel in there. Like so. Shrinking this down. Actually putting it above the other one. So, we've got the whole panel now. Now let's see if we, what we can if we can change the frequency. So you can see the radio. Let's um, change the frequency. Now yeah, you can see it changing on the radio. And you can see the scope line above. I'll turn it up just manually on the radio. So let's select band. We know 40 is OK at the moment. So we're just scrolling up using the my mouse at the moment. Now we could select on the screen. Seems to be going the wrong way. Megahertz span. Right, we can change this to one. Or we can change this to ten. Okay. <clears throat> are we on? Let's just check. We're on LSB. Yeah, we are. Yeah, not very really lucky with this, are we? So here's your these sliders. There's your volume, which does work. RF gain. Yeah, squelch, TX power, USB, and reference. That's for the scope. We can change colors, like so. Choose all sorts. There's a red one there. <laughs> Let's get the RF gain down. Might look better. So yeah, just before I put it on. Let's try 5 kilohertz. Let's go the other way. Let's turn it up.
Yes, that's about right. Um, Terry, I wonder if you uh, were able to copy uh, Brian on either of those antennas, G7 MIM with uh, M6BAQ, C3WZD. Yeah, okay, Darwin, no struggle, he's too close to me. Um, he's probably hearing me because I'm running a bit more power than him, but he, he, he can only be about uh, 30 miles away from me. Uh, roger, roger. Okay, uh, Brian, did you copy Terry? Over. Over nine with Brian, he's in central Dover. Um, over. Uh, Terry, did you copy? You are 20 over nine with M6BAQ. Yes, I've got him, he's coming in and out of the QSB here, but um, I did get him. I've got to sign because uh, I need to uh, dash and take my medicines, uh, Duncan. But it's been a pleasure, I'll catch you again some other time. There you are, you can see it's working fine. The preamp is here on the right, preamp one and two. Got an attenuator, the tuner works, I just tested that. Power, transmit does work. So, yeah, there's a difference. So, you've seen RSBA1 version two, and you've seen WFU. I'll show you, you can change band using this window. Frequency, you can type it in. There's my settings. Not via LAN. Now you can connect via LAN using an IP address. But that's, that's, that's not really what we're showing it now. We've got two radios. And, um, well, sorry, we've got the ICOM 7300 connecting to WFU and the RSBA1 version 2. 7.3, there goes the phone. All the best. <laughs>